Your Massachusetts real estate market update for November 28, 2022. I hope you had an absolutely amazing Thanksgiving. I know I did. I'm actually still on vacation, hence the fish behind me today. But as always, we're going to go over single family and uh, condo numbers, what has happened in the state of Massachusetts. Interest rates, we're seeing a lot of stability there, and I am loving it. We're going to talk about distressed properties in Massachusetts. There's a little bit of movement in those numbers. Uh, the luxury segment, we're going to take a look at a newly listed property in Brookline at 82 Sargent Road, beautiful single family home. Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb. I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent that sold more than a thousand houses. If you like knowing about the real estate market, then please consider hitting that like and subscribe button as each and every single week we go over the developments in the Massachusetts real estate market. So let's dig into the data and move to the single family market. There are 4,692 single family homes on the market in the state of Massachusetts. Look at that inventory drop. Holy moly. Now look, I expected it to drop because it was Thanksgiving week, but I did not expect it to drop that much in the last two weeks. As a matter of fact, in the last two weeks, we have seen inventory drop by 612 units. And this is really bad news for the market bears out there. The people that think that the real estate market's gonna crash in Massachusetts and that you know uh, home price depreciation Appreciation is going to happen on a mass scale. Think 2008. So for you people out there that think that this is going to happen, that inventory drop is not necessarily great news to that narrative of that story. You really need to see huge inventory gains, which still to this point, we're not really seeing. Now, when comparing the numbers of homes available today to last year, we have 1,484 more single family homes currently on the market than we did last year. So that's the great news for home buyers out there is that there are st there is still more inventory than compared to those historical lows that we saw last year, um, but we're not being flooded with inventory like a lot of people expected. Now, we had 336 newly listed properties that came on the market last week. The average amount in September and October was 1,046 units. Again, this is to be expected. I expected a huge drop because it was Thanksgiving week. Not many people wanted to put their house on the market. A lot of people are traveling, hence this guy, right? You know, people just, they don't want to put their houses on the market. So that inventory drop completely to be expected. You see it every Every single Thanksgiving. There were 621 homes that went under agreement last week. Now, the four week rolling average is 940 units. So, yes, this was a little bit below, but again, Thanksgiving, right? We saw 374 homes sell last week for an average sale price of $609,000 and a median sales price of $543,750. Now, that months of inventory, months of inventory is how we figure out what type of market are we in, seller's market, equal market, or buyer's market. Zero to five months is considered a buyer's market, five to seven months equal market and seven months or more is considered a, a seller's market. So what happened with months of inventory? Well, it decreased with inventory decreasing, months of inventory decreased as well. We currently have 1.39 months worth of inventory on the market in the state of Massachusetts this week. And this is down from 1.43 months um, last week. Now, I got to say that this is probably one of the best times for to be a seller in this market in the last three or four months. So the question becomes, is this trend going to continue, right? Is this going to be, this is going to create a trend um, where we're ultimately going to continue to see these inventory levels decrease at pretty large amounts. Um, now, look, there's seasonality of it. There's no doubt about it. Generally speaking, uh, we definitely see drawdowns of our inventory as we go into the winter months. Um, now, it still should be higher, right? If, if the market's weakening, we should still be seeing a lot more inventory coming on. So, you know, there's some really interesting data that we're going to be seeing in, in the next uh, month to close out this year. So we're going to keep our eyes on all of that. But let's just jump into that condo market. We currently have 2,446 condos on the market in the state of Massachusetts. Now, inventory decreased by 317 units in the last two weeks, but buyers still have 231 more units to choose from than they did if they were looking to buy this time last year. So yes, inventory decreased, same thing, Thanksgiving, makes sense. This is what we're gonna expect to see this week, every single year. Um, the question is, is this trend going to continue? Because it's been for two weeks that that inventory has now decreased. There are 152 newly listed condos that came on the market this week and just like single family market completely to be expected now the average number of condos that were listed in september and october were 485 units just as a little heads up there were 268 condos that went under agreement last week and again the average for september and october was 388 units so that's not bad considering that thanksgiving holiday we saw 147 condos sell in the state of massachusetts last week for an average sale price of five hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars and a median sale 
sales price of $475,000. And that months of inventory that we talked about a little bit earlier, interesting as in the condo market, it ticked below that two month um, you know, line, if you will. So that was some pretty big news. It actually moved down to 1.96 months of available inventory for home buyers. And this is compared to last week's 2.03 months. So a little news here, is the condo market gonna continue to strengthen? That's the big question here as well as the single family. And ultimately, we're really going to have a good idea for data of the next three weeks to, to a month. I mean, it's because this is the data and these are the inventories and these are the sales that bring us into the new year, the momentum into that new year. Now, do you like hearing all what's going on in the state of Massachusetts and everything about real estate? Then make sure you slam that like button and hit, consider hitting that subscribe button as I do this every single week. So please, I truly appreciate you considering subscribing. So let's just jump into the mortgage news. In the mortgage, I and pretty much every single mortgage banker out there had a lot to be thankful for this holiday season. Well, at least in the last two weeks, because we have seen interest rate stability. As a matter of fact, mortgage rates continue to hover around near two month lows. So that's really great news for the real estate market as well as the mortgage market. Now, it's such great news that mortgage demand is actually now up for now three weeks in a row, which we love to see. Now look, demand was up by 3% compared to last week, right? So we're not talking huge numbers. And as a matter of fact, that mortgage market demand, it is still down 41% when compared to the same time last year. Keep in mind, these are national numbers, not necessarily specifically Massachusetts numbers. Um, but this is good news. It's going in the right direction. Ultimately, we saw interest rates decrease, which meant that the buyer's home buying power and they had more of it they were able to buy more house if you will for that same mortgage payment so a lot of really good things happening here towards the end of this year as we move into 2023 and then some good news but uh, maybe some bad news for new home builders as well now builder sentiment actually hit a decade low with the 11th straight month uh, monthly declined uh, in October so builders are not feeling too great but they did see a 7.5% increase in new home sales last month. And this is really because these guys are now offering a lot of incentives, nationally speaking, offering a lot of incentives. And you are, by the way, seeing it in Massachusetts. Uh, there's some condo markets that uh, I saw one that's offering five years of prepaid condo fees or giving away storage units. Um, you're seeing builders willing to come off that asking price all of the time actually uh, so you're seeing it in massachusetts as well but not like anywhere else in other parts of the country where they have a lot of new build inventory but the good news is is these uh, incentives they're they're actually working a little bit for the fact that the tune that uh new home sales were up seven and a half percent month over month from september to october so let's talk distressed properties because everybody thinks that distressed properties equals fantastic deals, which also means depreciation, right? So accounting for all single family homes, condos, and multifamilies for sale in the state of Massachusetts, we currently have 126 foreclosure properties on the market. We currently have 35 short sale properties on the market, making for a total of 161 distressed property sales in the entire state of Massachusetts. Now, available distress inventory when compared to the whole entire market is now about 2%. 1.98%, which is an increase from the 1.8% that we'd seen in the last couple weeks. Um, and that increase in the percentage is even with a four unit decrease in the amount of available foreclosure and uh, short sale inventory. So, you know, it, it ultimately, I think that that percentage increased, if you will, uh, due to the fact the huge declines that we saw in the regular traditional um, inventory market in the state of Massachusetts. So moving on over to the luxury segment. We're headed to Brooklyn to visit the home at 82 Sargent Road. Now, this home is six bedrooms, five full, and two and a half baths, spanning 6,883 square feet. It's nestled on nearly one acre on just beautiful, picturesque grounds. And by the way, one acre, I mean, that's pretty much a farm in Brookline, right? Um, this home sports a dramatic marble two-story foyer with stunning staircase. It also includes four fireplaces, a slate roof, a three-car heated garage, and a finished basement with a theater and exercise room. Now, the seller's current asking price is 
$10.9 million. This home was just listed last week. So this is one of the Massachusetts luxury real estate markets, a newly listed exquisite estates. If you have any questions or if you just want to take a look at some really pretty pictures, I put a description. I put a link in the description below. So make sure you check that one out. Uh, if you want to talk about real estate and your own personal goals, then I would love to be that guy that you chat with. Real estate's a passion of mine. I absolutely love doing what I do and I would love to help you in any way that I can. And if I don't know any answers to your questions, I can promise you that I'm going to find out those answers and give you an informed answer. Uh, any comments, questions, or concerns about any of the data that you just saw today, then make sure you throw them in the comments section below. You take the time to watch my video. I'm always going to take the time in order to respond to your questions and comments. Uh, keep in mind that an informed person, they're a powerful person. So until next week.